two month time period. I don't know how long it's been since we established that, but we gotta go. She's not trying to let us leave. There's some guy or some demon trying to eat us, and fuck him. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with another episode of Promise Neverland, episode 4. Last episode, we had a big game of tag to help train all the students in, in terms of getting them ready for the escape. I don't know if Crone, Sister Crone, noticed that particularly, but she noticed some shit was up. So she was like, let me play! <laughs> and then she did, and she fucked him up, and it was all fucked up, and I hate her. I hate her, and I hate her. And she's all creepy and all that jazz and then things kind of laid low for a little bit and it seems as if it's because somebody a traitor is feeding mom information so that she doesn't need to harass us and so with that being said our goal is to just get our shit together so we can get out you know i'm still learning more about what's going on with the demons what's going on with the world so i'm just very excited about that remember guys if you guys want to see the entire episode down here in the corner with me Make sure you check out the Patreon down below. If you guys ever want to chat with me, chat with anyone in the Dapper Squad, check out my Twitter, check out the Discord. Other than that, Dapper Squad, let's hop into this. Promise Neverland, episode four. So, Gilda definitely 180'd my perspective on her this episode. She's definitely a real one, for sure. Oh, I'm so curious what's going on with ray at the end there uh, norman norman oh my god and I, I i mentioned this in the episode but i love the fact that these three are uh, it, there's there's certain aspects of which one could be smarter than the other you know it's kind of like rock paper scissors one tops the other in certain qualities and or attributes but they are all equally smart in their own way like like in terms of Emma, she is you know smart when it comes to saving her friends. You know, like like a uh, Goku is only smart when it comes to battle. Otherwise, he's kind of a doofus. But when it comes to battle, he's a fucking genius. Same thing with you know Emma. Emma, in terms of athleticism, coming up with decisions on the fly, in terms of saving other people as a community whole, she's a genius. Norman is really good. He's a very good manipulative thinker. Like he knows how to wiggle his way in certain situations and wiggle his way out not necessarily get out the cleanest way get in the cleanest way but he knows how to get the shit done and then ray is just a very but i don't want to say by the book but he's a very efficient thinker like what will get the job done the best possible easiest possible way from if it's not the easiest and best if it's not guaranteed that it's easiest or the best i'm gonna back out i'm it's not for me i'll do something else you know but like it's just it's very interesting how these guys are on equal intellect levels, but you can have, you know, such different areas of expertise in terms of that intellect. It's very interesting to me. I also love the plan Norman came up with in terms of figuring out who the traitor was because it reminded me so much of Game of Thrones. Now, some of you guys don't know, but I've, I have seen the first season of Game of Thrones and I definitely plan on reacting to the rest of it. No spoilers if you haven't seen it, of course. Like, watch it and watch it with me, of course. But there's a character who does something literally the same exact thing Norman does. He has a few people close to him. One of them he knows is the traitor. So he tells them all different stories, but he says, do not tell this other person that. Like this one, do not tell this other person the plan. And then whoever tells the person, you know, she's like, ah, oh, and it was, it was, I was like, oh, that was sick. And I was like, equally like, oh, that was sick. I just, I, it's so cool. Cause I saw that one and then I saw like, that's such a cool, these guys are definitely smart. And the character who did it in Game of Thrones is one of the smartest ones. So that's so cool. Um, anything else I want to really talk about? Crone is fucking creepy, weird. I hate her. I still do. Mom, creepy. I don't hate her as much, but she's still definitely creepy. Um, I'm excited to find out what the Tafar. I'm excited to find out more about these demons. I just want more of the actual world we live in, which I know we will eventually get, and I'm looking forward to. Remember, guys, if you guys want to see the entire episode with me down here in the corner, you know, or the next one after this, check out the Patreon. If you guys want to ask me any questions for a Q&A or talk to me anything, check out the Discord because now would be the time where I ask, answer the questions that I just don't have any right now. Um, hope you enjoyed what you liked. Hope you liked what you want. I don't fucking know what I'm trying to say. Peace out, Dapper Squad.